All right, we're doing a 30 foot uh, RB Airstream 2020. It is the rear bed model. It does have the queen option. Uh, we are putting 1000 watts of solar on the roof. We are putting a three single 3000 watt inverter. We are putting a 150 slash 100 MPPT and he already has a smart dongle, which is uh, something semi-new from Victron. It is basically a 712 with no 712 module. It literally just broadcasts Bluetooth and 400 amps of Battleborn lithium batteries. So let's go inside and see how I've got this one planned out. All right, now we are inside and this is, so we have the typical front Airstream couch, which is nice. Um, you have loads of windows all the way around super nice and for this one we're going to stick two batteries under this seat two batteries under this seat multi plus in the middle beside the um the low voltage uh junction box that airstreams are famous for uh we'll be running our wiring in the bottom of the chase of the aldi system which is the the uh, silent heating system that the airstreams have super nice love it super quiet um i have already installed i got the system planned out already so i have already installed the touch 50 which connects to the serbo gx product for this one and then um right over there is our little serbo box which will be behind the tv um the automation will be under the other dinette over in that direction kind of near the Dyson there and because when you pull this drawer out it only goes maybe two-thirds of the way down the length of the booth I'm gonna have to do some wire management and clean it up uh, because um, there's no actual floor space it's all just wiring but I'll show that later um, and then from the roof I'm gonna use the like I do in the other videos I'm going to use the um, chase where the refrigerator vents and bring it down bring it down into here and I'm also where I'm putting the automation box I'm going to put the um, MPPT so that is the layout of this system and so let's uh, let's get it all installed Okay, so just wrapping this one up, we're on the 30 RB Classic 2020. We have truck charging upfitted. We have here, we've got the lithium battery isolation manager and the existing connections. Um, right over there on the ground, black square, there's gonna be a piece of wood right here protecting all the connections. And then on the truck side, so it has to be mounted up underneath, but the other side of the Anderson plug. And then on run the power line runs all the way down. And uh, oops, how about I pop the hood? Here we come up from underneath, come into here. Uh, 100 amp breaker, come across, connect, connect onto the uh, battery terminal. Negative is grounded at the back, and then we also have our solar that comes down. So our solar comes in from the top comes down goes through this this is to keep 
it off of the metal. I drilled the hole larger on the metal. I don't, I haven't found a good solution for a uh, uh, penetration piece yet. Uh, looking for one, but um, it's completely sealed, anchored, anchored, and anchored, and anchored on the top as well. And that comes in and goes to the MPPT. We were able to get 10 panels on the roof. And I will go up and give you a look-see. So, we have uh, six down this side, seven is in the middle, eight, nine, and ten up in the front. There is the combiner box where everything connects in. And coming out of the left side of the combiner box, is my um, uh, the large wiring that goes down, comes across, and goes down into the uh, refrigerator vent, and then goes down inside. Which I've already shown you that side of it. So, uh, all right, now I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so we have 400 amps of batteries, 3,000 watt inverter. The Serbo GX with the touch screen. We also have the uh, 150-100 MPPT. So, let's start with the Serbo. Here is the Serbo. And, oh, well, we also added a Progressive Industries Surge 50 amp HW50C. Here is the control for the Serbo hanging out and I cleaned all this up a little bit too there was all of this was just laying in the bottom so I went ahead and just did all the cable management to make it all clean and the whole thing and then under the chair there, let me pull this first gotta see if I can not touch anything important and then under here there's a lever pull it back and then it opens all of this up. So we have the surge is actually mounted to the back of the automation box. In the automation box, uh, that's my coupler to tie the 50 amps together whenever you're not on shore power so that the inverter can run everything. There's our 150 100 MPPT. And on the floor, right over here, I don't know if you can see it, if you just barely pull the edge of the drawer out, then there is a shutoff for the solar that comes in. And then, so now I'll put all this away and I'll be right back. So now we move to under the couch and we have two batteries on the left side. Very well snugged in there. All of the wiring is completely free of touching any of the mechanism. Multi-plus, shut off for the multi-plus, shut off for the RV shunt two more batteries if they need to access any of the factory 12 volt stuff you take these four screws out these four screws out this swings this way this swings this way uh, take the screws out of the multi plus slide it this way and then you have access to everything that's mounted behind it um, I did it that way so that we weren't blocking anything. If he has any issues with the motors and the mechanisms, all the front mechanisms are accessible. The motors, you take out the right battery on each side, then you have the ability to get to the motors. But that... is this system. So, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe and hit the dingy bell ringy thingy so that you're notified whenever we release new videos. Bye. Okay, so we're going to try something new today. I'm not wearing any jewelry. It's black and fuzzy. How's my audio? Mic check. <laughs>